the kind of charity and the rule and development of society. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, keep up the prayer, bay zakah, and bow down in prayer with all who bow down. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Islamic Sharia established, establishes, the Islamic Sharia establishes a strong societal system for people that is based on compassion, interdependence, and solidarity. As the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever and favor. The Prophet ﷺ also said, when the people of Ash'ari tribe reign short of food during the battles, or the food of their families in Medina rain short, they would collect all the remaining food in one sheet and then distribute it among themselves equally by measuring it with a pole so these people are from me and I'm from them. Thus, Islam has prescribed zakah, the obligatory charity, making it one of the key foundation and urge people to pay extra voluntarily charity, stating that this charity is one of the greatest baths of goodness in order to relieve the poor and fulfill their needs. The Almighty Allah said, in order to cleanse and purify them, Prophet, accept the charity out of their property. Prophet, accept the charity out of their property. Allah also said, whatever you spend in a charity, He, Allah, will compensate you for it, for He is the best provider. The Prophet ﷺ said, Islam is based on five pillars. The testimony that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is His servant and messenger, the observance of the prayer, the payment of zakah, the pilgrimage, and the fast during Ramadan. When contemplating the glorious Qur'an, one finds that the Almighty Allah mentions both zakah along with prayer, which is the greatest and most important obligation in Islam. This indicates the significance of zakah and encourages people to adhere to buying it. Allah said, keep up the prayer and pay the prescribed zakah. Whatever good you store up for yourselves, you will find it with Allah. He sees everything you do. Allah also said, those who keep up the prayer, pay the prescribed zakah, and are certain of the hereafter. The Islamic Sharia has warned against negligence in the performance of zakah. As the Almighty says, those who are miserly with what Allah granted them out, his grace, out of His grace, should not think that this good for them. On the contrary, it is bad for them. Whatever they merely withhold will be hung around their neck on the day of resurrection. It is God who will inherit the heaven and earth. Allah is well aware of everything you do. Also Allah said, Prophet, till those who hoard gold and silver, instead of giving in God's cause that they will have a grievous punishment. On the day it is heated up in hell's fire and used to brand their foreheads, sides, and backs. They will be told that is what you hoard for yourselves. Now feel the pain of what you hoard. Abdullah ibn Abbas said, Three verses were revealed in connection with three others. One will not be accepted without its counterpart. First, 
First, the verse says, establish prayer and give a charity. Whoever prays and does not give a charity, his prayer is not accepted. Second, the saying of the Almighty, be grateful to me and your parent. So whoever is grateful to Allah and is not grateful to his parent, it will not be accepted from him. Third, the saying of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, obey Allah and the messenger. Whoever obeys Allah and does not obey the messenger, it will not be accepted from him. There is no doubt that charity supports the rule of zakah in, achieve, in achieving its community rule. Therefore, the noble sharia urges us to give a charity as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, indeed, there is a duty on a wealthy aside from zakah. Then he recited this ayah, goodness does not consist in turning your face towards fast, towards east or west. The truly good are those who believe in Allah and the last day in the angels, the scripture and the prophets who give away some of their wealth. However, much they cherish it to the relative, to orphan, the needy, travelers and beggars and to liberate those in bondage. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. Zakah and charity have a great fruit. Zakah and the charity have a great fruits, including the great blessing and great reward. As the Almighty Allah said, Allah blights usury, but bless charitable deeds with multiple increase. Allah also said, those who believe do good deeds. Keep up the prayer and pay the prescribed zakah will have the reward with their Lord. No fear for them, nor will their grief. The Prophet said, two angels descend every morning. And one says, O oh Allah, give him who spends something in place of what he spends. The other one says, O oh Allah, give destruction to him who withholds. Also, the fruit of zakah and charity include its leads to safety. As the Prophet wasallam said, treat your sick by giving the charity and protect your property by paying the due zakah and face your mis misfortunes by making supplications. The Prophet wasallam also said, indeed, charity extinguishes the Lord's ang anger and, pro and it protects against the evil death. Zakah plays a major role in achieving community balance and societal development. It, that's very clear when it comes to charity with all of its forms, including the public projects and initiatives such as sacrificial uh, shukuk, sukuk, feeding sukuk, collecting clothes for the poor, house rehabilitation, or job creation and other form of goodness that achieve humanitarian care for families that deserve care or for the region that deserve care. How much do we need to achieve the meaning of goodness, kind, communication and communities, community solidarity in order to promote love and fraternity and achieve development? May Allah save our country. May Allah save our country, Egypt, and all countries of the whole world. Thank you.